Well, it's done. It's full of water. I've been... Uh, you might be able to see that water in there. I've got it probably about that full. It's been full of water. I had to uh, take and plug the uh, fuel line thing, whatever you want to call it, petcock. And uh, we filled it full of water and she's held. So we're going to dump the water out of it now and uh, paint the entire thing with some black. And uh, see our little kitty, he likes it. He's my uh, working buddy. He's out here with me all day. Had another little project that uh, I purchased this leaf blower. Quite a nice unit. It's pretty old, probably mid 70s. And uh, it's called a Parker. Got an eight horse. Uh, Briggs on it that has an issue with uh, a bad coil so uh, I checked the points I cleaned them and I watched a video that showed how to test your coil and it wasn't testing out so I kind of figured it was a coil but I did not know and if it's not the coil then I'm going to replace the condenser. So everything looks pretty new down here. So you know, farmers are out moving around. But uh, anyway, picked this up for 60 bucks. Did some cleanup on it. Had to do some work on the wheels and things of that sort. But uh, you can see it's a Briggs. I checked the. Uh, code. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a 75061611. 75 designates the year. This was the month that it was made in, which was June. This was the day, the 16th. And then this 11 is the code of the factory of where it was made, which I don't know what that is. But anyway, it's a way to be able to date your engine. So I'm gathering that this whole unit was made in mid 70s somewhere, 75 plus. Um, I checked the model number on it and it's a HC7480 Parker Company, which Parker Company is out of business now was bought out by Arians so but anyway when I got it it didn't have a fifth third wheel on it so I didn't have the right paint to match it but anyway I put a piece of angle iron on there two by two angle iron I had a dolly wheel laying around so I set that on it I've just got it clamped down right now because I'm working on that, that flywheel but uh, that gives it a third wheel and then on this side, the chute's got, it's got some crackage on it. You can see it there. But uh, I'm going to put a plate either on the outside or the inside. And uh, we will reinforce that. This is all polypropylene or whatever that is. It's like a plastic. So it's kind of nice. It's lighter and very durable. But... Uh, Anyway, that's another project that I've acquired. Worked all day on that. And then I picked up this from a friend of mine, a little compressor, and it uh, doesn't want to start up. So we're going to be doing some bench work on that. Maybe I'll make a video of that too. Who knows? But that's what's going on at uh, the Snow King Garage today. Beautiful day. Oh, I wish that stay like this all the time about 73 4 degrees out no humidity perfect so thanks for watching and uh, the fuel tank is done